move. My next guest fights pirates, rules a gang of lost boys, and never wants to grow up. From the new Christmas movie, Peter Pan, please welcome Jeremy Sumter! You got a new movie out over the holidays. You know, what else is uh, happening for you, bro? Uh, not much. Just, um, you know, going to go up north and see my family, you know, surf a bit. Oh. Up in presents. So you surf. You're going to surf, you're going to surf out there in Australia. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, Australian waters have, like, they have, like, the biggest great whites. Great white sharks there. Because I yeah. watch those up animal channels and stuff. Well, so did I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, in, like, in Africa, the great whites jump out of the water. They're called, like, air jaws. I've seen it on National Geographic. National okay. Geographic. Did yeah. you ever like surfing? Because our brothers don't surf, so I don't know nothing about no surfing and stuff. Uh, like. Surfing's awesome. You know, when Have you ever spotted a great white before? No, but um, actually just a couple miles from my house. Um, well, before that, me and my dad, we would paddle across the canal to get to Wait the... Wait a minute, paddle? Yeah, pa well, when you're surfing, you surf you're paddling. Off? So we've had to paddle across the canal to get a quicker route to get to my house. And then two days later, we found out just in the same spot, two guys got eaten by um, bull sharks. So, um, we could not do that no more. So, we decided to walk over the bridge from now on. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, walk over the bridge, baby, because y'all was yeah. paddling, like, wasn't nothing happening. Yeah. Then, like, two bullshots. You found out you'd be paddling yeah. harder. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow, man, so you surfed, man. But you brought some pictures from Australia where you shot the movie, didn't you? Yeah. Wow. Um, so, I guess you'll like to see those. So. Wow. That's yeah. beautiful. That's Australia right there. Yeah. I got the same Actually, that, that mountain right there, I climbed that. It took four hours just to get to the top of that, so... Wait a minute, you, you, hour, climb, hour you climbed that mountain? Yeah, with the How old are you? Fourteen. You've done a lot of stuff at Fort... That's you right there? Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. So, Australia is the land of down under. Um, well, yeah, I guess so. That's what they... That's what people say, but when you get down there, everybody, you know... Mm. Everybody's cool, they're friendly there, they're nice. And... I really one day want to visit Australia. I heard oh, it's it like a beautiful country to go to. I want to check it out. I'm going to save my change and go there one day. Actually, they have these... Every night when you go in Australia, every night you see thousands of... A whole blanket of these bats that fly over every night. And they're called fruit bats. And, and these wings, from the, from the tip of this wing to the other wing, is like, you know, that long. Like four they're, or five feet? They're like three feet. Yeah, they're three feet, they're three feet long, and um, they fly a foot from your head, and they don't Fourteen care where years old, you've had a lot of adventure in your life. Oh, you know, yeah. you got great white sharks and bats this big. That's like <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> That's beautiful, but you are the first boy, young man, I should say, to ever play Peter Pan. You are the first young man to ever play Peter Pan. Mm -hmm. I mean, was that a, like a tough audition? Well, um, I, the first time I auditioned... Yeah, knowing that the, 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 the character is a legacy, uh, has a legacy of females playing that role, you were the first boy, so... Oh, yeah, well, um, knowing that, you know, Kathy Ribby and Sandy Duncan and then play um, Peter... Yeah. I knew that when I went in there, I could play it my own way. I mean, I could be Peter, my own way of playing Peter Pan, instead of following another person, you know. And so, but um, I auditioned for the first time for Peter Hogan, the director, and he thought I was too small. And so, a couple months later, they called me back again to see if I've grown a bit. And right. I did, I grown about an inch. And so, he flew me to London to audition with Jason Isaacs, who plays Captain Hook. Right. And we were supposed to go in the park out in front of the hotel and learn a sword fighting routine for PJ. But instead, he takes me to an arcade and gives me Chinese food and all this Aha! stuff. And so, that is so cool. Yeah, and so they call, they call, and, and they say, you guys ready? You guys ready to um, show us what you've got? And Jason's like, uh, no, give us 20 minutes. So he rushed over to the park, and we're sword fighting with these sticks as hard as we can. You know, going really, we're going at each other very fast. These cops run over because it looks like this grown-up is beating on this little kid with sticks. You know? What? And so, and so um, they run over, and they're about to tackle Jason. I'm like, guys, wait. He just teaching me how to sword fight here. Yeah. And so, um, and they said, okay, keep it cool, though. And so we, we went out and we auditioned, and um, he, PJ, he liked it, and so he flew me to France, and in the airport, he drew this picture of Peter Pan, and um, he said, Jeremy, that's you, you got Peter Pan, and so that's how I found out I got wow, it. Baby. Yeah, wow, baby. Wow. Check this out. Let's take a look at the clip. PJ, look out! <laughs> the other one? Not this time.
Hook looks mean in a Shug Knight. <laughs> Jeremy, I mean, do you want to show me some of those moves? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I got some swords if you want to see. Right, on guard, baby. All right. Oh. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Peter Pan dropping them all. And there is them all. Take your family. Take your kids. Go see it. Thank you, Jeremy. We love you. Still to come.